Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be solving this interesting radical equation suggested by my friend, U.S. Descartes, in Twitter, so stay tuned. Right, so like I said, this question was suggested by my friend, U.S. Descartes, in Twitter. So the question is, solve for x, where square root of 5 minus x minus square root of 1 plus x is equal to 2i. For this question, first of all, we need to square your left and right hand side. Then you're getting now only 5 minus x and plus 1 plus x. And then you have negative 2 square root of, now you have 5 minus x times 1 plus x. This is going to be 2i squared. That is just equal to negative 4. Okay, then let's rewrite this left hand side for a little bit because at least you can cancel those two x's out. So you have 6 now minus 2 square root of the same thing. 5 minus x times 1 plus x. Okay, this is equal to negative 4. That means we can move your negative 4 to your left hand side and move this negative 2 square root of 5 minus x times 1 plus x to the right hand side. So now it is going to be just a 10. That is equal to 2 times square root of 5 minus x times 1 plus x. If you divide your left and right hand side by 2, then this one is a little bit simplified into 5 is equal to just the square root of 5 minus x times 1 plus x. Okay, now it's time to square your left and right hand side again. Then your 5 will become 25. 25 is just equal to 5 minus x times 1 plus x. So that's why let's distribute these two parentheses. Then your right hand side is just going to be 5, and then plus 5x, and then minus x. And then we have negative x squared. So your right hand side is just negative x squared plus 4x plus 5. Okay, that is equal to 25. So that's why I move your terms around. Then your equation, the quadratic equation has to be just x squared minus 4x plus 20. This is equal to 0. Okay, then we can now factor this out nicely only with an integer. So that's why we need to use your quadratic formula to get the value of the x. So x is just going to be negative 2 is positive 4. Plus minus square root of b squared, that is 16 minus 4 times leading coefficient positive 1, and then constant is 20. Divided this by 2 times of your leading coefficient is just equal to 2. Okay, so that's why if you calculate what you have inside of your square root, then this is going to be 4 plus minus square root of now negative 64 over 2. So that's why we can rewrite this now as 4 plus minus now, square root of 64 is just equal to 8. So 8 times i. Okay. Because we have the negative sign inside of your square root. That divided by 2. And if you divide those two numbers by 2, then we will have 2 plus minus 4i. But then again, this is going to be the answer. But um, before we actually say that this is the final answer, we need to check whether we have extra new solution or not. That means we need to check 2 plus 4i and 2 minus 4i. And if both of them are working, then we can say 2 plus minus 4i is going to be the final answer. If any one of these two numbers is not working, then we call that as extra new solution. So that's why let's check. So first, let me check 2 minus 4i. Okay, let's plug it in this 2 minus 4i to the x of the original equation. Then you will have square root of now 5 Minus x is going to be minus 2 plus 4i. Okay, minus square root of, now in this case, 1 plus 2 minus 4i. That is equal to now 2i. So most likely, we will be checking your left-hand side part, right? So the left-hand side is going to be just square root of, now, 3 plus 4i. And then minus square root of, now, 3 minus 4i. Okay, knowing how your i is equal to square root of negative 1, which means i square is just equal to negative 1. So that's why we will be rewriting this 
as square root of now 4 plus 4i now minus 1. Okay. Then for the same reason, we'll be rewriting this as square root of now in this case 4 minus 4i and then minus 1. Then we can rewrite these two radicals as square root of now in this case it has to be just 2 minus 2 plus i squared. And then the second is going to be square root of just 2 minus i squared. And then we have minus sign that is in between. So that's why the first radical is going to be just 2 plus i. And then we have minus sign of 2 minus i. If you calculate this, then 2 is cancelled out. And then we have i minus minus i, that is plus i, that is 2i. Okay, 2i is what you have on the left-hand side. That is exactly equal to what you have on the right-hand side. So that's why at least this 2 minus 4i is the answer. And then let's check this 2 plus 4i, right? Right, so number 2, 2 plus 4i is what we need to check. Then this is going to be square root of now, plug it in 2 plus 4i to your x, then it's going to be 5, now minus 2, minus 4i. Okay, that minus square root of, in this case, 1 plus x, that is 1 plus 2 plus 4i. And that is equal to 2i. Then let's talk about this first radical. So the first square root part, this is going to be uh, 3 minus 4i. So that is why first one is square root of 3 minus 4i, then minus. The second one is square root of 3 plus 4i. But then again, we already checked that the square root of 3 plus 4i, that is going to be just 2 plus i. And then square root of 3 minus 4i is just going to be now 2 minus i. If you subtract this, then 2 and 2 cancelled out, and we have negative i minus i is negative 2i. That is not equal to this 2i on the right hand side. So that is why this 2 plus 4i is not the answer. So the final answer has to be x is just equal to 2 minus 4i. Okay, so this is the final answer.